Hi, Dave here and this is episode 18 of the Art Review series and this time we're going to take a look at the work of Axel Sauerwald. Now Axel Sauerwald is a concept artist slash illustrator. Um, what's so interesting about his work is that, well, first of all, his art station portfolio is pretty succinct. Um, he doesn't have a lot of content and I think uh, it's on purpose. Um, it's kind of interesting because I've seen a lot of kind of pro big name artist artists recommend that you you know you post your work every day and uh, I, th I think it does help to build a following in that regard. However, it's not you know it's not there are no rules in terms of managing or uh, updating your portfolio. You can limit it to just your best pieces. And in the case of Axel Sarwald, I think he posts more of his sketches on um, Twitter and Instagram. So this is a, a piece of his personal artwork posted back five years ago. And as you can see, it's, I would classify this as more of an illustration. This could be some kind of a print or book cover or some kind of marketing piece. And uh, he can develop his sketches to a more kind of developed level. And he, what's so cool about his work as well is that he does limit his brushwork to very few brushes. He doesn't have a lot of brush variety and it does have a very kind of illustration kind of look kind of a fine gouache like look and i have noticed that he actually used or uses a lot of the uh the circle brushes for his uh paintings and uh, not, i'm not sure what he used for this one but uh, you can tell that it's actually kind of fine um very illustration like it's pretty tight um, for me, I would probably have used some kind of mixer brush and maybe a few more brush types to kind of vary up the uh, brush strokes. But again, his kind of metho methodology here is a pretty standard kind of uh, illustration method or approach. Uh, this one was posted three years ago. Nice process. So he did a line sketch, maybe some undervalue painting, and then face by face, he uh, renders it more. Now they actually all, well not all, huh. So this is the first one, and then here, here. So I'm not sure how long his illustrations take. Although I was able to ask him in his in one of his uh, art station posts, um, how long does he usually take on his whenever he's doing his sketches? Um, and he did say that it does depend on the day and on the actual subject matter. It can take about two to four hours, and I think uh, that's a very reasonable amount of time to spend doing a uh, study and I, I did ask him specifically um, on regarding a post that were kind of a series of sketches so I'm not sure how long he would take for more illustrate illustration kinds of artwork so this one is a mermaid subject piece um, and again at this view you can actually you can hardly see his brush strokes so it does to me the moment you can see the brush strokes I think that's when you are in the level of an illustration uh, and I think Mr. Sauerwalds I'm not sure how to pronounce his uh, name is a pretty good example of what you can achieve by just going further and pushing your sketches to a 
more illustration type of level. As you zoom in, you can tell that he, uh, some of his strokes. However, you know, at this view, it's hardly noticeable. And uh, he does have some pretty interesting work. Now, I'm not sure if this is a personal piece of his, but uh, pretty interesting concept. And he's definitely more of a painterly kind of guy. Wow, I love this. Um, uh, now, this one is actually more of a sketch. Now, I, uh, th uh, this post of his is a series of sketches actually excuse me and uh oh he does focus on the head more and maybe a bit of the the hand and the some armor and then for the background he just leaves it as fairly loose um t t for me this is actually enough for concept art um, to help visualize an idea. Now, I'm not sure how he does approach his color, but his colors seem more natural to me and not as saturated, not as um, kind of neon type. It's very real world based. And maybe he does a lot of painting studies, um, kind of master studies. I'm not sure, but he probably has some reference photos at the side to kind of help with the color schemes. Um, so these are actually more concept art. Um, this one is a, I would classify as an illustration. It's very kind of tight and you can hardly see the strokes, the strokes. And for these ones, these are more kind of design oriented uh, concept art pieces. It's kind of just figuring out uh, the character of this thing. And he does have a very natural painting look. Kind of like a gouache or oil or maybe even an acrylic type. Maybe more oil, I would assume. Uh, it does have that look. So this is a Huntress uh, posted two years ago. He does leave the edges kind of vague and almost impressionistic. And he does tighten up the character right here, the Huntress, uh, especially the armor and the face. Uh, he does have a few sketches, design sketches. Um, and again, even his sketches look really good. <laughs> and I do like his brushes here. It does have that natural kind of texture in some of the, uh, say, the highlights. So these are more of his lunchtime sketches. So I'm not sure how long he does these. Uh, posted two years ago. Maybe an hour or two hours. Because for the, the one I asked, which uh, we'll eventually get to, they actually, he, according to him, it took about two hours to four hours each. And I guess it, it depends on the level of detail he wants or he's trying to study. Now, this one's pretty cool. Um, some more lunchtime sketches uh, during his breaks. Now this one is actually more uh, interesting because the way he paints the, the fabric here, the drapery, it does remind me of John Singer Sargent's work where he would actually show the strokes more in his work, especially in his watercolors. And for this figure, however, Axel Soderwald actually paints it to a finer level, almost to an illustration type of level. And then the rest is kind of left uh, impressionistic. The same here, focused on the head, 
simplify the background. And uh, again, if you focus on his brushwork, he doesn't use a lot of very complicated brushes. And they're usually plain. Plain in that it doesn't have a lot of texture, or it has minimal texture. And it does have a clean, or provide a clean look to his sketches. I mean, in this sketch, you can even see some of it, some of, some of, some texture, excuse me. <laughs> you can see some texture, uh, especially in the kind of waterfall right here. And then that's pretty much it. Uh, it's very minimal. Now this one is a, this one is Fagus the Devourer. Devourer? Devourer. So these are some of his design sketches. Um, and I love how he added some kind of uh, this background. It does make it more fit the project and theme. It's kind of a undisclosed secret project. And uh, it somehow was able, ooh, very interesting design sketches right here. Uh, so it does have a background, a good background in drawing as well. And I love the way he does simplify some of the parts by placing it in sh shadow. It does have a nice graphical look to it. And then here, this one is more of an illustration. Um, it's actually, I would I would consider this a very kind of finished concept. Um, so yeah, an illustration. And uh, you know, eventually I would like to bring some of my work to this level. And because uh, I, I haven't actually done something that, uh, that has reached this level of detail and kind of finished look so maybe one day I can kind of develop one of my concepts even more to a to an illustration so this piece was a hardcover campaign contest uh, thing he it's one of his submissions for that kind of contest and uh, You can see he did simplify the background way more. Look at the way he painted this. The kind of see-through fabric. Very nice. And you can tell by his work, he's definitely a painter. Um, uh, I wouldn't put him in the kind of design category. I mean, he can do design. Uh, similar to the kind of previous artist we reviewed. Um, Brian Collin, he uh, he does he he is more of a painter, but he can do pretty good design, and he has reached a point where he's kind of in between, and you can hardly tell. But for Axel Sauerwald, I think he's more of an illustrator, illustrator, and uh, yeah. So this one is one of his finished personal pieces. Ugh. Even the clouds are pretty nice. So these are some kind of angels. Nice. <laughs> and his clouds look so natural. Um, I'm not sure if he painted every single thing. He probably did. Because um, he does have a few snapshots here. It looks like he painted all of it. And you'll notice in his work, he does love wings. Uh, more fantasy types of uh, themes. Now I actually thought in the beginning, this was some kind of 3D model. I think it's because of the lighting the way it's lit and it does have a very soft kind of gradation of light and uh, of course even though if you zoom in 
you can kind of see the painting strokes. It looks very realistic. Um, and I think the, the lighting does play a big role in this piece. So this one is a Thunderbird. It's kind of a mix of a lion and an eagle. And uh, uh, look at that. You can tell he did focus more of his painting time in the face. Or at least the face looks very detailed to me compared to the uh, the wings and the uh, claws. But I think he did paint the background as well. Uh, if I were to do this kind of thing, I would have used the photo, but it's kind of a good example of the same with Brian Collin of how you can just paint it and you don't actually have to photo bash every single thing. So this is more of a commission piece uh, he did for cardmarket.com. And he did explore more of a painterly style in this one. And he did have his classical painter painter kind of collection as a or classical artist as his inspiration. And uh, I do like the way he did add a few kind of reds in the bottom part of the rock. I'm not sure how or where that light comes from. It could be from the dragon. Um, or maybe it's more, more of a style thing. I'm not sure. Uh, but if you focus on his work, he does have hue variety, very subtle hue variety. And it does make his pieces look more alive. And even the way he paints this dragon, it looks very simple. Um, he doesn't need a lot of strokes to define, say, the wrinkles and the wings. His artwork looks very efficient. And in the background, you can actually see he left it more impressionistic, very slightly loose. And he did show a bit of light here. Um, Overall, it's a very interesting piece. So maybe Axel does have a kind of oil painting background, perhaps. Um, now this one is more of a modern artwork piece. So this one is entitled Distance. This time I ventured out on my off, out of my comfort zone and tried out a different style and workflow. Also, it's the first time in quite a long time that I tackled a modern subject matter. I learned a lot. Yeah, it is very different from his normal stuff, but it is very interesting. You know, at first I actually thought this was a photo. <laughs> and then once I zoomed in, ooh, so he did paint this thing. Like, I thought this was the painting, and then everything else was, re was real, but it uh, turns out everything, everything was painted. So apparently th these are some of his personal character designs, and according to the description, he does do a lot of character design work at work, but at his spare time he does do his own uh concepts and i think that it's really cool to see this because whether or not you have a kind of a job or you're currently employed if you're into concept art you will make concept art and i think it's a good reminder of kind of why you're in this field in the first place uh we just like making concepts and designing things or visualizing a certain world, exploring a certain world, or building a scene, and yeah, 
And again, he does have a few design sketches here. Almost thumbnail level. Exploring some of the design aspects. Nice pose. And then from there, he develops a few of them. Now, the, these ones are more finished to me. Something for presentation, perhaps. It's very presentable. Now, this is, this is his very recent post. Uh, posted 11 days ago. And it, and it did ask him. Uh, this was where I did ask him. How long does uh, each one of these take? And he did say... Again, depending on the subject matter and also the day because maybe he does feel better on some days and not so well on other days. Two to four hours each and that this one is actually fairly loose. But if you, if you kind of zoom out, you can tell that uh, it's a pretty interesting environment. Uh, I'm not sure if he mixes a few things or has a specific photo of the subject. Or maybe these are more exploratory types of sketches. So the reason why they take long is because he does kind of uh, figure it out as he goes. And that can take time. You know, it's not a... If you're sketching with the reference, kind of a direct sketch and copying things one-to-one. Uh, -one, I guess it won't take as much time. But if you're trying to figure things out and are in a more exploratory mood, I think it can take time. But as you can see, I love the way he shows off his uh, brush technique. And again, he doesn't use very complicated brushes. He keeps it simple. Right here, you can see some of his strokes. But his values, his hue variety, his very specific kind of brush strokes, uh, his efficiency with those brush strokes, and of course his natural color uh, schemes. I think is what makes his artwork very uh, kind of eye-catching. And I've seen his work featured a lot in the ArtStation community page. And I think that's where I did find one of his work. I believe it was the lion, the thunderbird thing, the half lion, half eagle. So that's it for today. Uh, please do follow Mr. Sauerwald uh, on ArtStation. And he does have an Instagram and Twitter. I think that's where he posts more of his sketches. I will link them in the description below. Um, I hope you have a good day.